Good day everyone, I'm Anthony Jan Tabada, Bachelor of Physical Education, 3rd year. So the contributor that I will be presenting is J.M. Horan or Dr. Joseph Moses Horan. Joseph Moses Horan was a Romanian born American engineer and management consultant. He was an evangelist for quality and quality management. Having written several books of those subjects, he was the brother of Academy Award winner Nathan Horan. Born on December 24, 1904, Raila, Romania. Died on February 28, 2008, Raila, New York, United States with the age of 103 years old. He has a spouse named Sadi Shapiro, born 1926 and died on 2008. Awards are National Medal of Technology and Innovation. In his education is Loyola University School of Law. 1931 to 1935 and more his children is Sylvia Horan Charles Horan and Donald Horan from early age Dr. Horan displayed a keen interest in learning and developing skills following his high school graduation in 1920 in 1924, Dr. Horan graduated with a degree in electrical engineering and was hired by Western Electric House Hawthorn Works. It was there that he began working on statistical sampling and quality control techniques and this early introduction to the quality analysis and management would go on to shape the rest of his life. Dr. Horan remained active in the field of quality management well into his 80s, consulting for top tier organizations worldwide including Xerox, the US Navy, Rolls Royce Motors, and Toyota. He retired at 90 but spent the following years writing his memoirs, which were published just by his 99th birthday. Horan died in 2008 at the age of 103, but his work in the field of quality improvement is being carried forward by Dr. Joseph A. Defue. Defue's highly regarded text, which is Horan's Quality Handbook, The Complete Guide to Performance Excellence. Horan has been called the father of quality, a quality guru, and the man who taught quality to the Japanese. One of his thriller contributions is the Horan Trilogy. The Horan Trilogy was one of the first to the point of the cause of poor quality. He illustrated this concept in Horan Trilogy, a cross-function management approach. He pointed out that without change, there will be a constant waste However, margins will be higher and the increased costs are recouped after the improvement. And the three components of the Horan Trilogy are quality planning, quality control, and quality improvement. Joseph Moses Horan or Dr. Horan is considered to be the father of quality control. His quality control handbook is the number one reference for quality practitioners. He published his first version of Quality Control Handbook in 1951 during Japan Reconstruction period of the 1950s, he taught quality control concept to Japan. He has 46 books on Goodreads with 1,310 writings and his most popular book is Joran's Quality Handbook. He also fathered the idea of applying the Pareto principle to reducing defects. And also, Dr. Joseph Moses Horan helped founded 
TQM. TQM also means total quality and other teachers. The philosophy of total quality management started after 1960, first in Japan and then later spread to the rest of the world. So in conclusion, Joseph M. Horan or Dr. Horan has many contributions in the field of quality management. His book, The Quality Control Handbook, is a classic reference for quality engineers to date. He transformed the Japanese philosophy of quality management and worked hard in shaping their economy, helping them to become industry leaders. And for instance, Dr. Horan was the first to embed the human aspect of quality management, known as total quality management. The involvement of the top management, the Pareto principle, identifying the need for widespread training quality, propagating the new definition of quality as fitness for use and the project by project approach toward quality improvement are the ideas and concept for which Horan is best known and they are still widely used today. That's all, thank you. Good day everyone, my name is Chunami Icapalias, BPE3 and the contribution that I will present to you is William Edward Deming William Edward Deming in 1900 and 1993 is widely acknowledged as the leading management thinker in the field of quality. He was a statistician and business consultant whose method helped his turn Japan's recovery after the Second World War and beyond. He derived of the first philosophy and method that allowed individuals and organizations to plan and continually improve themselves, their relationships, processes, products, and, and services. His philosophy is one of the cooperation and continual improvement. It avoids blame and redefines mistakes as opportunities for improvement and life and career of William Edward Demi. William born in Lowa in 1900, Deming's modest upbringing in an early settler community was to install habit of truthfulness and a dislike of waste which was to influence his later thinking. His university career started at the University of Wyoming where he achieved an engineering degree in 1921 followed by a master in mat mathematics and basics from, from the University of Colorado. He completed his studies at Yale University in 1928, where he was awarded a doctorate uh, in mathematical basics. Deming then concentrated on lecturing and writing in mathematics basics and statistics for the next 10 years. In the late 1920s, Deming became familiar with the work of Walter Seward, who was experimenting with the application of statistical techniques to manufacturing processes. Deming became interested in applying Seward techniques to non-manufacturing processes, particularly clerical, administrative, and management activities after joining the U.S. Census Bureau in 1939, he applied statistical processes control to their techniques, which contributed to a six-fold improvement in productivity. The contribution of William Edward Deming, first is Deming 14 points for management, second is Deming 7 deadly diseases of management, and third is PDC cycle, the, the Deming wheel. So, in conclusion, William Edwards Deming is the father of quality management and is acknowledged as the leading management thinker in the field of quality, a statistician and business consultant, 
Damien's work is the foundation to TQM and its successor quality management system. For instance, his contribution is management and leadership innovation. I hope you know who's William Edwards Damien in his contribution. Thank you and God bless.